<laughs> oh, Sonic the Hedgehog. A special case for a child that I put so much love into since childhood, to the point I remember I demanded people only address me as Sonic when I was younger. <laughs> it's kind of funny when you think back on it. It's a series that, despite the ups and downs of it, I still look forward to seeing if the next game will be the one to really get it right. You know, it kind of sucks the franchise has this stupid bad reputation to it, and while some of it is warranted, I can't help but feel like it overshadows the good the series has done and the endless possibilities it has to make the comeback it needs. You know, Koopo, I thought Mania and Generations were really great games for classic and modern Sonic in recent years, if even just as tribute games. But I do wonder what they could do to get the game that special boost it needs, Koopo. Hmm, well, Sega did promise 2021 to be the next big year for Sonic. So, since we have so much time in between that, I think I know just the right sensible fan to ring up to help us figure that one out. Allow me to give a big welcome onto the show. The Sonic Guru, no Vega. Who was clapping? What was that? Hi. Hi. Uh, how are you, John? How are you? Doing good? <laughs> I'm doing pretty good, my dude. It's good to see you. I know we've been trying to do this for a while now, and honestly, I felt like my head was going to pop if we didn't get to it, so I'm happy we're finally able to sit down and tackle this. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I've been waiting a long time to tackle the blue blur and hopefully break his ribs. That's the goal. <laughs> I, well, I guess you gotta break a few ribs to fix this. I just hope the recovery is well worth the wait. But hey, before we begin, why don't you tell the viewers about yourself and maybe let us know what's your favorite Sonic game and why? Uh, hi. Hi, people. Uh, my name's Nolan. Uh, I am on Rebel Taxi's Pizza Party podcast. That's what I'm most known for, but I also do a lot of freelance artwork. I've done stuff for uh, Blame It On Jorge for uh, The Odd Ones Out, uh, I'm going to be doing something for Ellis Mark soon, uh, Nintendo, and a bunch of other stuff. I'm just kind of everywhere in the background. You know, I'm kind of that one guy that people are, always see at a party and they're like, does anybody know him? And they're like, kind of, I don't know. But uh, my favorite Sonic game is Sonic Generations because it's the most tightly knit game in the franchise. It's very fun, doesn't have a lot of mediocre filler in it, and most of it that is in there you can skip. It's just very good, very clean, very nice. Mwah. Whoa, I guess you really do get around. I don't like three of those dudes you mentioned, but the other two I'll have to take a look at you after the episode. But aside from being a pretty popular guy yourself, it seems you do have good taste in knowing what an actual good Sonic game is. I do. Generations was actually a pretty sweet game at the time, and it had a great mix of popular 2D and 3D levels from past games. But it is sad to see that everything after has been hit or miss, however. Oh, speaking of tribute material, before we really dive in, I gotta ask. Please tell me you caught that OKKO OK crossover episode with Sonic. It was alright. It was cute. You know, I'm not the biggest OKKO OK fan, so I feel like I'm biased in uh, talking about it. But um, I think it focused way more on uh, just making a bunch of, uh, like, call callbacks and cameos rather than, you know telling a really good story but you know could have been worse could have been way worse if i enjoyed it then most anybody else should like really love it so you know oh come on again that's just like my opinion man i know i'm just messing with you i also sadly haven't seen a lot of okko okay in the past as much as i've stuck through things like steven universe or we bear bears for example i've seen a couple of episodes here and there but this one probably was the one that grabbed me the most yes it's because of Sonic, but also because the references were fun to catch as I watched the episode. You can tell they had a lot of fun working on it. Most of the references were pretty good, thankfully. Like, a lot of OKKO's OK references are just kind of like, uh, isolated from the context of the show, so it's just like, here's a reference, and they halt the episode, but that wasn't, it, that didn't happen very often with Sonic crossover, which was good. Hmm, I get what you mean there. I feel like there was a good amount to the episode to help pull people into the OKKO OK universe if that was their first run with the show. Mm -hmm. I feel like the same could be said the other way around with getting people into Sonic. Not literally, internet, you heathens. <laughs> but enough fanboying. It's time to drift this video into the main point we're here for, right? Yeah, yeah. Alrighty, well then, let's kick on them soap shoes and get to work on making the next best Sonic game. Sorta. I guess we'll call it the Super Idea Dump Edition. 
Mm. Well, let's let's just get into it. Alrighty, bud. Let's juice. Oh yeah, backseat game development. I love it. Let's do it. I guess we'll kick it off with something easy. The story. Every Sonic game has a story to it. Whether it's good, bad, or just kind of weird at times. 06? They all feature something that usually has Sonic on the move to take down Eggman and his constant efforts in world domination. But what more would you like to see story-wise for this game? Um... Well, I know you just uh, said Sonic 06 wasn't a good, uh, you know, and I agree, it isn't, but uh, I really liked the kind of, like, sort of tone and tropes they went with. I loved uh, Sonic, Tales of Knuckles, like, trying to solve a mystery and, like, trying to stop, like, a calamity from happening. I think it's really, uh, I think it's a really cute idea, um, because we hardly get anything with them working together as a team anymore. It's usually Sonic doing most of the like work, and Tails just kind of goes, Uh, my computer says, okay, you can do that, I guess. I don't know. But, um, I'd love a game where they all collaborate together. Like, the last game we got that was like that was Sonic Boom Rise of Lyric, I think, where they all work together. Like, I thought that was really cute. Um, probably my favorite thing from the uh, adventure era, so, you know. That's what I would want. What about you? What are you, what are your thoughts? Hmm. Yeah, I see what you mean. While I would like to see a solo 3D Sonic game, I do admit that seeing a game where they actually make use of Sonic's friends in something other than just cutscenes would be pretty great. It's kind of what I really wanted from um. Uh, what's the name of that one that we just got? Uh, Forces. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. I feel like it was the perfect game to offer a great deal of variety in gameplay, and I get they try to do that by bringing back the wisp power-ups, mm -hmm. but I felt the other characters like Tails, Silver, and Knuckles, and all the others were shafted in favor of bringing back 2D Sonic who just ended up feeling not as fun as he did in Generations. Then you have the Avatar system, which is a nifty idea to make the player feel more a part of the war at hand, but that just also felt lifeless and sorta of uninteresting. Don't get me wrong, it's a nice idea. But I think with all the other characters the story brought back, I think it was just the wrong game to introduce the feature. Yeah, I, uh, Forces is such a contentious topic for me, because it's just like, I want to like it. It's really shonen and stupid and just fun, but then they like, and they just ruin it again. Like, it's just kind of what Sonic Team does. It's sad. It's like, oh, I'm, ha I'm having fun, and then they're like, no. Just, just stop you. Maybe it's just time for them to take a break from Sonic and try something new again, or have some fans come in and work on the next title again like they did with Team Mania. Mm, maybe? I don't know. I feel like Mania was lightning in a bottle. It was uh, just the right people who had the right work in the industry, had the right experience, and just managed to put a game together really well. I don't think hiring a fan is like the answer for everything, because uh, like it also depends. It, like, uh, hiring a fan is making the assumption that uh, they would be able to operate just as optimally in a uh, game development environment, which is a lot more crunchy. Very crunchy, like uh, nut peanut butter. Peanut butter with nuts. Hmm, I guess you make a good point there. So, hopefully they can get somebody right. I just, I just don't know if a fan is quite the answer. Maybe get Kojima after he's done with Death Stranding. How about that? <laughs> A Hideo Kojima Sonic game? I can't even begin to grasp how that come out. But I mean, I guess that's also not stopping me from grabbing Death Stranding, and I still don't really get what's going on in that game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Sonic, uh, Sonic makes like esoteric quotes like, I run faster than the speed of light, so I only live in darkness, and then he goes on like a 10 minute tangent about how he likes like these movies about that theme or something. <laughs> Sonic shoes have freaking <laughs> nano machines in them. Tails. There are nano machines in my shoes. <clears throat> Hideo Kojima's Sonic the Hedgehog. Okay, let's start talking a bit about the gameplay we're gonna get into. We haven't had we we haven't had a straight up 3D game in I don't know how long. Uh, probably yeah, probably 06 is the last canonical straight up completely 3D Sonic game. I think. 
because Unleashed was the start of having the um, 2D segments thrown in there. And then Lost World also had those because they just don't know how to make a fully 3D game. But um, yeah, I, I would like it to be straight up 3D. Um, either boost or adventure formula without the filler in it. Just make it really polished, please. 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 Um, I, I always uh, just wanted like a really solid, polished 3D Sonic game. That just felt like it was kind of, that kind of had the same DNA as the Genesis games where it was just all about going from level to level and then you have a boss and it, there, there was no, no filler, nothing, nothing really uh, keeping it from being too bloated, you know? Colors was the closest to that. Uh, Colors is the closest to that kind of game I wanted, but that all, that had its fair share of issues too, so... Um, I, I, I just, just a 3D Sonic game with the, uh, design mantra of speed is a reward, it's not a privilege, uh, people always seem to think that the boost formula is just speed is given to you instantly, and I, that's a very easy misconception to make, but in games like Generations, you had to use it carefully, so you couldn't just boost your whole way through, because if you did that, you would most likely die. Uh, forces, you could do that, so that, they threw that out the window, but... I, 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 like, I like the idea of careful management of speed and uh, going fast and maneuvering through the level with skill. That's what I want, and I don't know if I'll get that ever again. So. Mm, I see what you mean. I think if we're gonna go with Modern Sonic, then I'd like to see a proper 3D game myself again. Maybe a mix of adventure-style levels with boost segments integrated in them could do the trick if they could figure out how to merge the two of them seamlessly. But I guess that also does lead me to wonder, when trying to figure out what's the best engine to go with, would you go with Project Hero or the Infinity Engine? Oh jeez, uh, man, I, uh, I forget. There was one where, like, you could, uh, go into a skydiving state. I forget which one that is, though I think it's Hero? I don't want, I don't want to make a sweeping statement, because I don't want to mix up the engines, but... Uh, it was one where you could play a Sonic or Shadow, and after you did a homing attack, you could, like, go into a skydive state. I thought that was really cool. And, like, you could control your descent, I think. I think that's Hero? Hmm, that sounds like it might actually be the Infinity Engine you're talking about. Okay, okay, then Wait, I... yeah, it's definitely Infinity, because Project Hero has more of the Lost Worlds feel to it. Albeit a lot more freeform, though. Yeah, I'm not sure. They're both really good engines. They're both very, very... they look very fun. Um, I, I, I would be, I wouldn't be adverse to either or, personally, but, uh, yeah, that's, uh, I would love, I would love a good parkour Sonic game, because Sonic Lost World definitely wasn't it. <laughs> I don't know, what about town? that's actually your favorite Sonic game? I can't, I can't describe how much I hate Lost World. <laughs> actually, I still have to play it at some point. Be my guest. What do you mean? When I come visit you, this is going to be the first game we play. Oh god, rest your soul. Alright, if you insist on, on playing Sonic Lost World, then that that's the game we'll play. Ha! <laughs> what you looking at, cutie? What are you waiting for? Uh, on second thoughts... I'm gonna have so no, much fun no, you made your bed, now you gotta lie in it. You gotta lie in it, John. Better show me a good time! Egg. Now we're moving on to something that even a bad Sonic game shouldn't really have too much trouble in getting right, unless you're Chronicles. So to add some icing on our half-baked Sonic cake, who are you picking to do the soon-to-be hit game soundtrack? Uh, I. This is gonna be a real hot take, but um, maybe like June Sonoy or uh, something like that. I I I, I d I'm not the biggest fan of uh uh T Lopes. I know it's sacrilege, but Nolan. I'm operating off the logic that uh we're making this score for uh the, the our dream game and I usually like the uh the uh more rock uh instrumental stuff like in uh, generations or the adventure games. Well more so Adventure 1, because Adventure 2 just started becoming noise at the end of the day. But, uh, yeah. I mean, like, T-Lopes isn't bad, I just prefer June more. And I, unless we can have both of them, 
because uh, they 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 both worked on a uh, Team Sonic Racing, right? And that soundtrack is like really good. Oh, did they? I th yeah, yeah, they did, they did. Um, but also, uh, no remixes, please. Stop it. Stop it. So what you're telling me is you aren't ready to hear the 100th take on Green Hill Zone? No. <laughs> no more Green Hill. Make it go away. You took your most iconic, like, landscape and you made it boring and uninteresting and, like, everybody's sick of it now. Why would you do that? I hate you. Sonic, why would you do this to me? Alright, Nolan, this, my friend, is the final question. And the one that has been asked for years and years and now has finally come down to me to ask you, what do you think? about the return of the Child Garden as a mobile phone game that links to our console Sonic game. I am surprised that it, they haven't released a standalone Child Garden mobile app in the wake of, you know, mobile apps that require you to be on them daily in order to get the fullest out of them. I'm surprised that's not a thing yet because people want the Child Garden. Like, I, I don't understand why. I don't, but... Like, people loved the Chow Garden, people keep asking Sega, please, bring back the Chow Garden. And the mobile market is perfect for bringing it back, and, and like, this is gonna sound awfully cynical of me, but, like, not only as, like, a Chow Garden, but also as a moneymaker, you could fit so many, like, microtransactions in there, you know? Like, and I'm not saying they should, but, but there's plenty of ways they could easily generate money just by saying, like, your Chow's going to hatch in 40 days, or, for 500 Chow points, you can hatch them now, and I just, wh why haven't you done that? Why, do you not like making money? Sega? Sega, answer me. Do you not like making money? Because this is the easiest way to make money possible. See, I totally agree there. Like, it would definitely be the perfect pick-up, put-down phone game that I could see people having a lot of fun with taking their child with them and raising them and maybe taking cute AR photos of them like Pokemon Go so that people can share them on their social media platforms. It would make for a nice little idol game when not playing Sonic, and I agree that it would actually make them a lot of money through microtransactions. Like, like, you go, go to the Chow Black Market. This will cost you 10,000 Chow coins you have to earn by grinding in Chow games. Or, you can spend 10,000 Chow points that you can buy in our shop to get the cosmetic. Sega. 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 And also, raising Chow by having to go in daily and, like, check on them. Like, you get a daily bonus or something, and it's really dumb and cheap and small. And then, like, the more daily bonus- like, the more you log in daily and it brings people- it's just Sega. Sega. Bruh. I don't get it. I don't get it. This company is so infuriating to me, John. I've literally spent nights thinking about how Sega is just, like, still here, in spite of making the worst decisions possible. I, I, I just- I can't stop thinking about it. It's gonna make me, like, it's gonna- I'm gonna be, like, on my deathbed. I'm gonna be in my casket. People are gonna be mourning for me. Well, maybe, like, two or three of them. And they're gonna be like, Nolan, what are your final thoughts before you go into that cold winter night? And I go, Why, Sega? Why? Why? And then I pass away and they everybody's just like, what was he talking about? Just old, decrepit Nolan going into that cold, quiet night. Here it is, everyone. This cake is baked with all the juicy ingredients that represent our undeniably factual opinions of what it takes to make the best things on the game of 2021. <laughs> Hopefully they'll get the memo on how it's really done this time. I'm just gonna magically teleport that over to them and that's it now we just wait two years what were you guys expecting to see something already these things take time you guys gotta learn to be patient can't rush perfection however while you're waiting ever so patiently head on over to the songs fans game hq website to find a community of creative fans dedicated to bringing you new ways to experience sonic also, the Sonic's Amateur Games Expo is right around the corner, so stay tuned to see what's coming from there fan-wise as well. But I guess in the meantime, what is even really keeping Sega afloat at this point? Yeah, I, I don't know. Um, I think Yakuza is doing really well for them. Because that has like an, an, an actual competent auteur behind it, so that's something. They're also a publisher and they publish like a lot of other games. 
Oh yeah, that, that's true. I keep forgetting they're behind stuff like Persona 5 and the other Atlas games, and I think they're also behind Fantasy Star Online too. Mm hmm That's coming over, finally, after years of people demanding for it. Yeah, I remember seeing it before, and it looked like a pretty cool MMO. I know Xbox announced it at their E3, but I'll get it if it comes to anything else at this point, besides that dust collector I wasted money on. <laughs> Do you have an Xbox? Do you have an Xbox One, John? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you poor soul. Okay, to be fair, I did buy it off my friend for real cheap. I figured 100 wouldn't be much of a loss, considering that there were games coming out for the system that I had interest in, like Halo 5 and. Name a, name a game exclusive to Xbox One that wasn't ported to PC. Do it. You can't. Halo 5 is! Well, I mean, I guess just his multiplayer mode, I don't think that counts, does it? I'm not hearing it. Not hearing any of it. Oh! The Rare Replay! You know what the Rare Collection is comprised of, though? Stop! Game, <laughs> games on other systems. <laughs> oh my god. Cuphead! Double Psych, it's on Switch too. Dude! <laughs> oh, screw it! Fine, you win. <laughs> the Xbox is the game console that, um grandmas buy for their uh kids because they oh they don't like playing xbox either that or you're an xbox fanboy are you an xbox fanboy is that what you are john <laughs> i'll have you know that i'm the biggest x boner the biggest wow i mean can't you tell by this cool tattoo that i woke up with this morning wait wait a minute no that's not a tattoo that's just a surgical incision do you have both of do you have both of your kidneys Oh, I guess that explains the messy red paint job in the bathroom. Oh, wow. Well. I mean, like, what tipped you off when you woke up in, like, a bathtub full of ice and, like, you realized one of your kidneys was gone? Mmm, I didn't really think too much of it. I just thought that Mark called a guy in to give me a surprise tattoo. I think he's still actually in here somewhere around the house. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay, well, you know, just so long. Just so long as you're aware now. Hmm, maybe we should actually wrap this up. Yeah, yeah, probably. I guess before we go, I should ask, do you have anything you want to plug? Uh, do I have anything to plug? Um, I have, I'm on Rebel Taxi. You can go watch me there. I curse a lot more and say a lot more awful things than I did here. Um, I have a, uh, trash posting Twitter at, uh, Nolan Trash Zone, where you can see me depressed tweet late into the night. I have an art Twitter at Nolan B Artworks where I take commissions. Please. Please. I need food. Uh, other than that, that's pretty much all, all she wrote. Uh, thank you for having me on. Go, go get a kidney. Please. Nice. Well, there you have it, folks. I want to thank those of you that made it this far through all of our wackiness in today's special episode. And I also want to remind you to like and make sure to comment below what you enjoyed most about today's episode and what you think would make for a good Sonic game. And tap that subscribe button to support the Bear Boy Show, which I work on for all of you lovely viewers. So thank you, and thank you, Nolan, for coming on today's show, bro. I had a blast doing this one. Absolutely, this was a lot of fun. Hey, you know, I just had a crazy thought. We should get matching tattoos. I'm sure that guy can help us wherever he is in the house. Why don't you just wait? Um, God, would you look at the time? I gotta go. Uh, I'm just gonna, your window's open, right? I'm just gonna leave this way. Okay, bye, bye. <laughs>